welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into the world of video door phones. We'll guide you through the process of connecting an analog video door phone using a CAT6 cable between an indoor station and a door station. Let's get started. In this demonstration, we're using the Hikvision Analog Video Door Phone Indoor Station, which will be mounted inside your home or office. The door station, meanwhile, will be placed outside, where visitors can easily access it. And of course, we have our CAT6 cable, which is ideal for transmitting video and audio signals. First things first, let's talk about how to run the CAT6 cable. It should run directly between the indoor and door stations. Be sure to avoid areas near power lines or other sources of heavy electromagnetic interference to ensure a clear signal. Next, cut the CAT6 cable to the appropriate length. Remember, we want to keep it under 90 meters for optimal performance. After cutting, strip the ends of the cable to expose the individual wires. This will allow for secure connections. Now, let's connect the cable to the indoor station. As illustrated in the animated wiring diagram shown on your screen, look for terminals labeled for video, audio, and power. Use the provided 4-pin connector that comes with your VDP kit and match the color code as shown. When connecting the wires from the 4-pin connector to the CAT6 cable, it's essential to follow the specific color codes to ensure the proper functionality of your analog video door phone. First, take the red wire from the 4-pin connector and connect it to the orange wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection is crucial, as it typically provides the power supply for the door station. Next, move on to the blue wire from the 4-pin connector. This wire should be connected to the white-orange wire of the CAT6 cable, which serves as the video input. Following that, take the yellow wire from the 4-pin connector and connect it to the green wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection can function as either audio input or audio output, depending on your specific setup. Finally, connect the black wire from the 4-pin connector to the white-green wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection typically completes the power circuit, providing a grounding signal. Make sure to double-check your connections, as mismatched wiring can lead to malfunctions. If your 4-pin connector has different color codes than described, refer to the corresponding colors of the CAT6 connections while maintaining the same functionality. Note, if your 4-pin connector has different colors, just match the corresponding colors of the CAT6 wires to ensure correct connections. Now let's head outside to the door station. For the door station side, you will again follow the connection guidelines for the 4-pin connector and the CAT6 cable. First, take the red wire from the 4-pin connector and connect it to the orange wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection is crucial, as it typically provides the power supply for the door station. Next, move on to the blue wire from the 4-pin connector. This wire should be connected to the white-orange wire of the CAT6 cable, which serves as the video input. Following that, take the yellow wire from the 4-pin connector and connect it to the green wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection can function as either audio input or audio output, depending on your specific setup. Finally, connect the black wire from the 4-pin connector to the white-green wire of the CAT6 cable. This connection typically completes the power circuit, providing a grounding signal. Alternatively, if your 4-pin connector has different colors, make sure to match the color code according to the indoor station connection to ensure proper functionality. Next, connect the provided DC power adapter or wire to the indoor station to power up the video door phone device. It's time to test our installation. Make sure the power is on, then press the button on the door station. 
you should now see the video feed on the indoor station and be able to communicate clearly. And that's it for our setup of the analog video door phone using CAT6 cable. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more DIY tips and electronic installations. If you have any questions or need clarification, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.